Welcome everybody here at JFD Brokers to our next webinar about uh, JFD Invest. A warm welcome in the name of JFD as well. Um, and of course, from my end, um, I say a warm welcome to you. Yeah, today we have uh, the 10th of January uh, 2019. My name is Stefan, Stefan Friedrichowski. And as I can see, if I look to the list of participants here today, we are getting more and more <clears throat> international. Um, if I'm right, I think I see a Scottish um, last name. I'm not sure 100% whether it's Irish or Scottish, but I think it's I uh, Scottish. So, yeah, hopefully I'm right. Uh, so we are getting more and more international, which is really a pleasure for me and a pleasure for JFD. Yeah. Today, JFT Invest Trading and Sim uh, Trading and Investing Simplified. Um, as always, I will introduce a little bit in general what's uh, JFT Invest about. But uh, today, uh, the main topics will be, as always, the highlights of the week. And um, we will have a look to my portfolio, which is growing and growing. I think we exceed now already after three and a half months or close to four months, uh, we exceed already 30% growth, uh, which is really impressive and I like that. And uh, since we have a new strategy on board, um, which is called The Hunter, uh, I will tell you a little bit more about that new strategy during the webinar, uh, because I can show you the direct uh, account uh, and uh, then we can discuss a little bit uh, what's about that strategy, what's the idea behind. Uh, so, of course, uh, that uh, can be done here because that is an additional strategy of uh, mine. So I can tell you a little bit more about the details. Good. Before we really start, you know the procedure. Um, I want to show our risk disclaimer as always for any webinar. Uh, so we talk about trading, we talk about investing. Um, and finally, of course, whatever um, you do, finally, you do it on your uh, own responsibility. I think it's quite easy, quite easy uh, that to understand. And uh, yeah, I have to say that always. And, but it's good to say that uh, because uh, maybe there are people which need some additional hints. But anyhow, JFT Invest. JFT Invest is, uh, as you know, um, it's it's something where you can quite easy set up your own portfolio. It's a digital wealth management, and we talk about pre-selected uh, trading strategies. And today we introduce an uh, additional one. So that pre-selection means those strategies you can follow by uh, JFD Invest are strategies which. Yeah, which have a proven track record, which uh, went through a review process, and that's quite well, quite good. That um, that you don't follow any strategy. No, those are pre-selected. But uh, let's start with JFD Invest. So um, let's go directly to the web page, and uh, then we will can discuss and start there. So we go for investing because that's the topic uh, we want to touch today. Uh, so, and then you can easily realize what JFD Invest uh, is about. Let's start with here, with that one. Top five performing strategies. So you see already a pre-selection here. Those are the top five performers and uh, of trading strategies. And you see that we are talking about huge returns. So looking for the top liner here, that's JFD Invest Galileo, which is indeed the top performer of the week as well. Um, since inception, and that's uh, close to one year, uh, that strategy earned already more than 50%. So that's a quite impressive track record. We will look into the details of the track record uh, later. But you can see we have here five strategies all around um, double-digit numbers in um, uh, returns. So uh, they are quite good strategies. And those one, you can select an additional one, you will see. But what have you to do if you would like to join JFD Invest? So, the first thing is you open a JFD Invest profile. You can do that directly on the web page. Um, 
um, year. And then the next thing might be you open a JFD Invest account. It's a special trading account uh, only meant for JFD Invest. So you, your trades um, would be copied exactly to that account from those strategies you have selected. And after you connect both there's a JFD, Next, uh, JFD Invest account and your profile, then you can start following any trading strategies. So that's a complete procedure. And if you have any further questions, just um, contact, for example, the JFD support by support at jfdbrokers.com or uh, you might have seen already my email address as well. You can use that one and um, I will make sure that you get all the answers you need in order to uh, have a good start with JFD Invest. Having done that steps, then it's up to you to go more in detail, more to see more details about those strategies. And the good thing is you can do that step even before you have an, an, any account. And just pressing guest access is enough. Then you can see already some uh, more details. As you see, there are not only five strategies. Uh, we have now here nine strategies and the top performer is here on top. That's JFD Invest Galileo. And let's have a look to our weekly uh, letter um, we sent out, um, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> there we mentioned that this strategy has earned 5.5% in only one week. Uh, and that strategy is just trading uh, cable, which is uh, British pound against US dollar and Euro US dollar, an impressive strategy. So only uh, up to 5% in one week. And you see, even the other one, uh, top performer of last week, gold mine balance, quite good numbers. It's only one week. And to have that kind of profit is, um, yeah, it's a good step for any portfolio. So, the JFD Invest Galileo uh, is here the top performer. And before I go into that strategy a little bit more in detail here, just uh, let you know what else can you see here. You see always inception date return last month, year to date. Okay, year to date is um, on the 10th of uh, January. Uh, maybe not <clears throat> the most important number because <laughs> we have only 10 days after us. But anyhow, all those in kind of informations are available. The other one is quite important here. That's equity balance deviation. Uh, that uh, key figure shows you, okay, if you have owned a trade and the trade goes into the minus, that is what, what is called floating loss. And it's good to see that number. What is the maximum floating loss in percentage of your account? Because that is something where you have to wait. And maybe that's an additional good indicator for you to say, I like that strategy or I like that strategy not. So um, therefore, we, we go around with that number as well. Full transparency here with any key figures, with anything about those uh, instruments. Um, and uh, I see already a question here uh, in general. Um, does it work with MT4 or just MT5? Uh, no, other way around. Does it work with MT5 or only MT4? The good thing is I can answer the question. So everything is running on MT4. Um, for you, it doesn't matter because you open a JFD Invest account and that is an MT4 account and all the strategies are running on MT4 as well. So everything is copied from MT4 to MT4. And uh, so finally, you don't have to think about the question MT4, MT5, um, because following those strategies, it doesn't really matter. But um, so that's about MT4 and MT5. Let's go back here to um, JFD in West Galileo, just uh, as a high performer last week. And if you open that, you have always first the overall growth since inception. So it's close to one year now. Uh, you see uh, the high number, steady growth. Sometimes we have that's exactly those floating losses. And right now, as we speak, we have floating losses as well. Uh, this you can see in, uh, here because there's a difference between balance and actual equity. So there are floating losses as right now. That's okay. That's fine. And we can see that, for example, 
much more in detail if you press equity balance deviation. And you see <clears throat> in the history we have had already something like 16%. Right now we have floating losses um, in the order of 10. Okay, um, hopefully everything went well finally, but up to now it was always the case. Uh, but you see all those informations are here available. You see um, the monthly return table, which is close to completely green, uh, which is always a good indicator. <laughs> and of course, you can see what kind of instruments are traded, <clears throat> the number of trades uh, performed. Um, so all those numbers are available. It's good to, to have a look to a uh, number of trades. Why? Think about a strategy having five lucky winners. Uh, okay, that's not a good statistics. And you have access to all those uh, informations as well here. So that's good to have that. And you can have other kind of information, other key figures, uh, advanced statistics about hit rate and so on and so forth. So all those informations are available and they serve as yeah, a filter for you, for your personal preferences. Um, I can say, for me, return is not all. I always compare return and equity balance deviation. I look to drawdowns as well. So because I want to have a more homogeneous uh, mixture of uh, for my overall portfolio and that we have a portfolio, I will show in a few minutes as well. But before doing that, Let's have a look to the news strategy, which is called the Hunter. Okay, um, the return since inception is 8.6%. Uh, uh, let's have a more close look here. It's not that steady growth as, um, for example, Galileo, but you see there's movement. There are trades, positive trades, negative trades. Um, and I start already telling you a little more details about that uh, kind of strategy. It's trading US dollar, Japanese yen exclusively, uh, only that Forex pair. <clears throat> and the trades are running only intraday. So there's no open trade overnight. Um, so those trades have a certain a stop loss, certain take profit, um, and finally the trade is closed uh, half past ten German time. Um, anyhow, so that that means we don't have over weekend or overnight uh, risks, and uh, therefore the, the yeah the equity is not that smooth, but it's steady growing, and that's a quite good uh, sign. As I promised. I said, hey, let's have an even more close look to that strategy because um, I'm directly responsible for the strategy so I can directly show you uh, the account. And uh, what you see here is a just normal MT4 account. And uh, within that account, there's an expert advisor running, uh, which is called Big Ben. And um, in this case, it's for the strategy US dollar, Japanese yen. How's the strategy acting? The strategy is acting by range breakout. Range breakout, and therefore you can see here a little, some, some additional lines within the chart. Um, and everything starts with those two small <clears throat> and short white lines. So from here to here, I go a little bit up, then you can see those. And you see one line here and one line here. Strategy is doing what the strategy is doing is to create that range based on two times, starting time and the end time. Um, starting time is um, at JFT time, a quarter past uh, eleven, which means uh, German time, uh, a quarter past midnight, and range ends a little bit later here at about three o'clock. That creates, the time range creates a price range, which is indicated by those two white lines here. And then we place two orders. We place um, an order on the lower end to the south, so a sell stop order, and we place a buy stop order on the upper end. Um, and what you can see here during that day, later the day, we went out of the range here at uh, two o'clock, 
uh, JFD time, which is um, the English time. And then further the price went down and finally trade was closed here. Um, and that's exactly at what I call the time stop time. So um, because the trade has not hit the take profit, but since we don't want to have overnight trades, uh, therefore the trade is stopped out by time and is closed here. And you see it was a good trade. That red line, uh, green line indicates it was a winner trade. Let's have a look to today because we can see that and you see already the red line, which means, okay, today the trade of that strategy has been um, a losing trade. Uh, you, we see once again um, the range here, upper, and, and lower end of the range. And then we went out to the south of the range, but finally the price went up totally back to the north. And uh, therefore we hit our stop loss. Stop loss is always just the opposite side of the range, as you can see here directly by <coughs> um, the red line of uh, the trade itself. So today it was a loser trade. Yesterday it was a winner trade. Day before was loser trade, and so on. And uh, it goes uh, further down the road all the time. But finally, as you have seen, as you have seen already in um, the overall chart, uh, we have a good track record. Um, during about eight nine months, we earned close to ten percent. Okay, that's quite well. Uh, it's doing well, and uh, therefore, my decision is: Hey, I want to have that strategy now within my overall portfolio. Before doing that, let's look to some more details. So there's always another key figure we need to know, and that is the minimum investment. For this strategy, the minimum investment is just 500 euro, which is fine for me. Um, and later we can see whether we have still money in my account uh, in order to, to <clears throat> invest into that strategy. But the answer will be yes, there's money enough to follow that strategy. And you see another key figure here that is a performance fee. So what does it mean? Um, so finally, you you don't pay something like a management fee for following any trading strategy at JFD West, but um, you pay what's called a performance fee. Is a performance fee is twenty five percent. First thinking might be mm, that sounds high. No, the answer is not, because it's only for if the strategy is earning money. If strategy is earning money, only from the profits, you have to pay those 25%, and that's based on high watermark. So um, in a nutshell, that means only if you have new highs within the strategy on a month's base end, then you have to pay such a fee. And uh, that's 25% compared to the last high. So only if you reach new higher higher levels, um, the fee uh, comes in place, and then then it's, I think that's okay. Um, and now I said, let's have a look to my portfolio, because that is a really interesting story about that. So. I have started uh, just together with JFD Invest uh, when we launched uh, JFD Invest uh, within September. I started a portfolio. A portfolio only means I started with a JFD Invest account, as I mentioned in the early beginning here during the webinar. Uh, and that account um, has 10K as a, a starting balance. And I started following strategies. But all, during the last couple of months, I changed my allocation. I changed my preferences about those strategies uh, from time to time. So right now, I think I'm following five strategies, and now we will add the sixth one. But what you can see here is what I created by following those between three and six strategies. So that is my account. So I've earned up to now 30%. That's um, gross. So before fees uh, that you can see immediately if you compare the overall return, which is above 30%. And you see that uh, my current uh, balance is about uh, two and a half K above um, 
my starting balance, so that would be 25%, and the difference are the fees. But the good thing is, hmm, I don't care about those fees uh, because I'm earning money and um, uh, finally still have 25% uh, growth within uh, less than four months, which is uh, really an impressive number. And now I said, hey, I want to follow a new strategy. Before we do that, let's look to my current allocation within my portfolio. So currently we have uh, five strategies allocated, Galileo, Goldmine, BIP Generator, Balance, and Power of X. Um, and those five strategies add up to total invested uh, sum of 10K. That means we have some money left. We can invest into new strategies, and that's exactly what I would like to do here. Um, how to do? It's quite easy. It, everything here is really easy to do. So we go back to find strategy, and um, so we are already familiar with uh, the strategy hunter. We looked to some details. Maybe we look to one another detail, um, which we have here, equity balance deviation for that account. Um, that's really uh, low numbers. And uh, the obvious reason for that is that we don't have overnight trades, uh, so floating losses cannot uh, be that high, definitely not for that kind of strategy. So um, therefore, we have those uh, low numbers here. And let's have a look to uh, the return over time. Uh, you see that we have stop losses uh, reached. It's always the uh, same amount here uh, where we reached the stop loss level. We reached uh, take profit levels. It's uh, here about 2%. So you can see some more details about the strategy. So I'm always investing 0.5% of my account in a single trade. And uh, that's um, the stop loss distance for that trade and take profit is uh, four times the stop loss distance. Um, so therefore, we have sometimes here four percent uh, as two percent on the upper hand. Okay, I like that strategy. Okay, for me, it's uh, personally it's easy to answer that kind of question. But anyhow, and then we simply press a button follow. That's all. But now we have a question here. Okay, I have available balance of 1.6K. Uh, uh, minimum investment was 500. Okay, no problem uh, for that strategy. And therefore, I say, okay, I want to invest 1,000 for that single strategy. Then we have another possibility here, what is called the risk management. I will press that button and uh, accept uh, what's written there. What does it mean, risk management? Risk management means <clears throat> that you can set something like an internal stop loss for a given strategy. It's not a stop loss like a stop loss for, for trade. It's a stop loss for the strategy itself. So if that strategy with those settings right now would lose 10%, strategy would be stopped out of my portfolio, which means trades are closed and no uh, new trade will be opened out of that strategy. So that's quite cool. So you can say for any given strategy, a level where that strategy is automatically stopped. That's good. So you can say for any individual strategy, what's the maximum loss? Okay. For me right now here, um, I invest 1,000 uh, euro into that strategy. I have no problem to uh, push that button here to uh, 50%, which would mean I would lose maximum 500 euro. For my total overall account, that is um, a number which I can, yeah, I'm willing to accept that kind of risk, so no problem. Okay. Then I accept terms and conditions and I will start uh, following that strategy. Since we know that the strategy is acting only intraday and since we know that today the trade is already done, uh, unfortunately in a stop loss, but anyhow, so there will be no trade until midnight. Uh, so I can expect uh, first trade uh, tomorrow morning, maybe already opened uh, within that strategy. You always get the confirmation a couple of minutes later after starting, and that's exactly what has been here in that pop, uh, push up button. 
Okay, so we have an additional strategy within our uh, overall portfolio. And um, yeah, let's hope that uh, we go north uh, further here. There's that road. It's really um, uh, quite good what we achieved here up to now. Um, and uh, okay, and uh, so that really looks good. Um, and I get another question here. Hello, is this a real account? Yes, that's a real account. Um, therefore, you see here uh, an account number for uh, that account. So it's a real account. Uh, I use it for demonstration purposes, yes. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad to have those kind of earnings here as well. So uh, it's a mixture of both uh, using that account here during those webinars in order to illustrate and demonstrate what's possible with JFD Invest. Uh, but nevertheless, it's a real account. Good. <laughs> okay. So that's for now. And uh, I think um, if you want to have further details uh, about any strategy or something additionally to know, um, no problem. Uh, just send me an email. I go back here to my, my starting page. Then you can see my email address here, s.friedrichowski at jftbrokers.com. That's one possibility to get additional information or help. The other would be just replace S. Fredrichowski by support, um, then you will get help from the JFD support team uh, at any time uh, during the day uh, and night, uh, beside weekend, uh, by the way. <laughs> but um, so that's good. And uh, I can always say next week when we have the same or similar webinar about JFD and West, we will look a little bit more what else can we analyze with uh, such an account? Because it's good to know more details, what's going on and um, other things um, you might be interested uh, um, in as well. Okay, that's for now. I hope you enjoyed the webinar. Uh, next week, uh, we will have webinars about JFD and West as well and uh, some other webinars, um, more educational ones. You will find on JFD webpage as always, or you get already the newsletter, then uh, you are always uh, up to date with any webinars uh, offered by JFD. Okay, that's for now. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.